Hey, welcome to episode of Chan's Beer Reviews. Another Christmas themed beer, appropriately for the season. This is Dark Horse Four Elf Winter Warmer Ale, 8.7 ABV. Um, it looks like they this is one you know they changed this year to year. A website must have last year's. Info on it because it said 9%. You know, it actually really didn't say anything about the beer. And the bottle really doesn't say anything about it either as far as, you know, what's in it. Um, all we know is ABV. I'm looking on Rate Beer and there's a description, but who knows how accurate this is or what beer it is. It says, a spice, winter, warmer, brew with nutmeg, clove, allspice, and other holiday flavors. That's it. All right, well, without further ado, let's just get into it. So... You know, it looks like a stout in the uh, glass there. I mean, it's just, that's definitely black. I mean, there's like a hint of like brown or something on the edge. Had about a two finger head when I poured it. It's down to about one finger. Nice kind of uh, foamy frothiness there. Definitely smells like a winter warmer. I mean, all those spices I just named. Nutmeg, clove, allspice, cinnamon. Get like um, it has like a little bit of like a fruit cake kind of flavor or aroma, I should say. You know, kind of like some some fruitiness to it. Very sweet, very spicy. Smells like a, a cookie, which is what a winter warmer should be. So let's dig in here. Cheers. Yeah. So up front, you get kind of like a cookie a cookie flavor. It's pretty sweet. Um, maybe like a gingerbread, um, or some kind of like like a snickerdoodle type cookie and then uh, through the the middle I mean not much in the way of bitterness here there's some not a lot um, right as it's going down you get like this this intense like it seems like a smoky character but I think it's actually more of just like probably just like a a, a ton of like cinnamon cinnamon or, or I mean nutmeg ginger like a oh, lot they're all in the same same family of spices there it's really, really strong. It has like a real dry sensation, and then I get like kind of like a slight kind of vanilla, uh, vanilla flavor going on the finish. Although I mean, I can tell it's just the alcohol. Hmm. Kind of, kind of cleans out the sinuses. Whereas I swallow and as I, I exhale there. Um, yeah, it was not, it's not quite horseradish or, or wasabi or something like that, but it's uh. You know, I've never, I can't, well, I mean, not never, but I mean, I just can't really th recall a winter warmer type beer like this where it would, ha like, it was like that strongly spiced, like, on the finish. Um, almost like a lot of the same flavors you get in a pumpkin beer. And despite it being, you know, really dark, like, I I really don't get much in the way of, like, roasted mall or, or chocolate coffee, things like that. If this is, like, a porter base the, the the spices in here are just like so potent that they're overpowering the uh whatever whatever the base beer is i might it might just be a straight dark ale something like that um really really smooth um really comfortable mouthfeel let's take a quick break and a quick word from our sponsor and we'll be right back with the four elf Hey craft beer drinkers, have we got a book for you. The Handbook of Porters and Stouts. This book documents the greatest examples of dark beer available on the market today. From old world traditional brews to American craft breweries pushing the boundaries of what dark beer can be. You'll learn about the origins of the styles as well as the brewers behind the beer. Available in bookstores November 11th or pre-order from Amazon at a discounted rate today. Come to the dark side with The Handbook of Porters and Stouts by Josh Christie and Chad Polenz. Mm. Welcome back. All right, well, let's rate this thing on right beer. For all, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Love that spicy notes. Um, oh, that's pretty much the only thing there is as far as aroma. It's just, just uh, you know, cookie spice. It smells really good. Um, 8 out of 10, I think, is fair. For appearance, I mean, there's not much, you know, as far as, like, a, a baseline or whatever. But, I mean, lacing speaks for itself. The head's hanging in there. This could go anywhere. This could go at least four. I think I'm going to give it a five just to be generous. It's Christmas. Um, you know, if the head fizzled away or if there was like hardly any lacing, I'd, I'd go lower. But 
Why not a five? For taste, um, same thing as aroma. I mean, I like the taste. There's just, I mean, the spices are just the whole thing, and I, I like the spices. That kind of horseradish, uh, intense spice right on the very finish there is like. It caught me off guard. It's you know it's a little unusual. Um, although I appreciate the originality, um, I'd probably like some more like whatever the actual base malt is. But I mean, when you think winter warmer, you think Christmas beer. This is exactly what you want. So it delivers as promised. So yeah, eight out of ten. I could maybe even go nine on that, but I think I'll stick with eight. For palate, um, again, I'm going to be really generous. I'm going to give us a full 5 out of 5. Um, right before we went to the break, I was going to talk about the mouthfeel, but it's like, it has like, kind of like a porter uh, mouthfeel. It's like, you know, a little bit more thick than your average. It's not like crisp and effervescent. It's, um, although it's not like sticky and chewy either. It's, you know, very smooth. It finishes actually pretty clean, leaves like maybe just a slight kind of drying aftertaste. Um, makes, you know, pretty much full use of that 8.75 ABV. I mean, it's, you know, it's a strong, potent beer. And it drinks like that. And it, I mean, it's actually, maybe it's like a little lightweight. I mean, when, it, when you start to get above 8, you start to get like pretty big, beefy beers. And this is... You know, rather light on its toe for that, but yeah, which I appreciate. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 for palate. Overall, I'm going to give it a 16 out of 20. I think it's, you know, really excellent beer. Um, not quite a perfect beer. And, you know, it's definitely better than your average winter warmer in my experience. So, that's a total score of a 4.2, which is a 9 out of 10 on my scale. And I would totally agree with that, which is, a, you know, it's an excellent beer. So, there you go, 9 out of 10. For the Dark Horse 4 Elf. If I don't see you, have a Merry Christmas and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.